Hey artists, welcome back to our playground with Mrs. Vaughn. This week's artist comes from Japan, and in the Japanese culture, salt is used as a traditional symbol of purification and of mourning. And when I say mourning, I mean like sadness that you would feel at a funeral. This artist did have something very sad happen. You will learn about that later in his family. And one of the things he did is he used salt to create very complicated, intricate labyrinths and mazes. I hope you will enjoy learning about Motoi Yamamoto, and I sure hope you enjoy practicing making an art installation in his style. Motoi Yamamoto was born in 1966 in Hiroshima, Japan. He is known as a salt installation artist. He created intricate temporary installations using salt, which is important for both the human body and the ocean. He went to Kanazawa College of Art, but worked in a dockyard until age 22. Then he decided to focus on art full time. He believes that everyone has a story to tell, and he felt like he needed to tell about when his sister, who was younger, died of brain cancer, and he began to immortalize her. He created two-dimensional brain to explore his sister's condition. He creates guidelines and then improvises, leaving mistakes and imperfections intact. You will see certain projects over and over again, because once a show is over, it is cleaned up and then he will create a new installation elsewhere for others to enjoy. After each piece has been on display for several weeks, the public is asked to come help destroy the work. They package the salt into bags and jars and then it is thrown into the ocean again. You don't need a lot of supplies for this one. You'll need salt, a squeeze bottle, maybe food coloring if you want to try that, and either paper or a large outdoor area to create your art. Okay, artists, I have my salt, I have my squeeze bottle. I happen to have one you get at the market for ketchup or mustard, it's pretty big. Maybe you have something smaller which helps you do more detail. And all I'm gonna do is fill up my bottle and I'm gonna experiment first because it's a little bit hard to control it coming out of there. And I'm just gonna build a giant chrysanthemum. So do you see I am never picking up my tip? I probably will. Let me speed it up so we get through it quickly. But I'm just gonna go and make more and more until I have one huge flower. This is one idea, but there's more. Now if you want to do a colored project, you're going to put salt in a container and you're going to put just a few drops of food coloring in. The next thing you're going to do is start mixing it with a spoon, but you need to push it down because it's clumps, it's got moisture, and something I learned the hard way, and you'll see this in my art that's coming up is once you've created the colors you want, you have to let it dry overnight. Otherwise it doesn't come out of the bottle very well. And you will see me struggle a little bit, but that's okay. I learned from this experience. I made three colors. I'm only showed you how to create one, but once you know how to make one, you can make multiples. So do you see how it's clumping out of my bottle a little bit? That is because Mrs. Vaughn didn't know that you have to wait a little while. The, the salt is clumping together because it's moist. If you let it wait overnight, it'll dry out. You'll be able to control it a lot better as it comes out of your bottle. Also, you can take a paintbrush or a finger and kind of tidy up if you make little mistakes. It's a little hard to control how the salt comes out. So use tools to help you create your artwork. Um, they might be tools I don't have, but I think I thought the paintbrush and the finger was a really nice way of tidying things up.
you like what we did today at Art Playground, please hit the red button to subscribe to our channel.